What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Random Recess restaurant review. Chris and Abed here, and today we're at The Bedford by Martha Stewart here inside Paris, Las Vegas. We're here at The Bedford at Paris, just like Chris said, and this is Martha Stewart's only restaurant. So, you know it's gotta be good. All right, we're hungry and we're ready to go in. So come along with us. You, you know, know what time, time it is. is. It's, it's recess, recess time. time. All right, so we got seated here at the Bedford by Martha Stewart. So it is a Mar it's Martha Stewart's only first and only restaurant, and it's located here inside the Paris Hotel and Casino. And first off, can I say it lives up to her reputation of being so well decorated in here. Everything looks so perfect. So the restaurant's actually styled after her Bedford, New York farmhouse, and you can definitely tell just by looking around at all the decor. It, uh, it resembles her house, that's pretty cool. And there are actually pieces inside the restaurant that are straight from her house. So it's almost like you're dining inside of her house, which is really, really cool. We got a lovely seat out on the front, pat we'll call it a patio, <laughs> even though we're inside. Um, lots of good people watching, and we got our cocktail orders in. So I ordered Martha's Perfect Manhattan, and the bed got the white cosmopolitan. So excited to see how those taste. I'm sure they'll be delicious. But everything so far has been beautiful, gorgeous. It's just fun to look around. All right, y'all. So I got the white Cosmo, which comes with Belvedere, Contro, and I believe, I think it's like a white grape juice or something. Either way, we're going to put everything on the screen in case we forget anything. But it has white cranberry juice. White cranberry juice. Thank you, Chris. But yeah, look. It comes with a flower and a giant sphere, ice sphere. So let's give it a taste. Wow, that is really good. I love vodka. I never thought to put white cranberry with vodka. I think I'm gonna have to change it up. Plus, I mean, look at this thing. Cheers. All right, so our drinks have arrived. Abed got the white cosmopolitan and I got the perfect Manhattan, which both drinks look absolutely gorgeous. The Manhattan's made with Woodford Reserve with some Luxardo cherries in there. Let's give it a taste. Cheers to Martha. Ooh, that is smooth. Ooh, that is smooth. You know, sometimes with bourbon drinks, it can be a little harsh. That, that goes down way too easy. That is super dangerous. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, 10 out of 10 cocktail. Way to start off the meal. So the menu here at the Bedford is inspired by farmhouse cuisine. So you get a lot of farm to table, pastas and dumplings, and entrees. We've got some uh, meat and potatoes, classic side dishes like the Brussels sprouts, potatoes. Pretty good menu. We're gonna figure out what we want and we'll chow down. All right, so for one of our appetizers, we got Big Martha's pierogies. So it's pierogi with potato filling in a brown butter and sage sauce. And holy cow, they smell so good. Let's get into this and see how they taste. Carbs on carbs on carbs. <laughs> these are big, these are pretty good size. All right, I already tasted the brown butter. It's amazing. Wow, okay, first off, filled to the max with that potato filling, delicious. You get a real nuttiness from the brown butter and the sage. The potato, the, the filling, the texture is so, it's, it's like fluffy and creamy. It's like eating a pillow of potatoes. The pierogi dough is cooked absolutely perfect. So not mushy at all. It still has a little texture to it. Wow, I'm impressed. Way to go, Martha. Y'all, this is so cute. Look, at the table, you get your own salt and pepper. Like everyone gets their own little bowl of salt and pepper. So you don't have shakers, but seasoned to taste. That's classy. All right, so we got the roasted chicken for two, and they carve it table side, so it's the whole chicken. Definitely got tons of butter. It smells so good. There's also some other seasonings, I think like thyme and rosemary, they said, and it looks fabulous. So they, they carve it table side, they serve it up. I'm excited to get into this chicken. I love chicken, and when he was carving it, you could just smell the aromas. It was really, really good. So it comes with some chicken jus as well that you could pour over. Um, and yeah, I'm just gonna dive in and we'll let you know how it is. All right, the chicken is a winner. We've taken a few bites. And I gotta say, I wish you guys could hear when I cut into it. The skin is so crispy. I don't know how they got it that crispy. The meat is juicy. It's good on its own. It's well seasoned, perfectly seasoned. 
Well, pro tip, when you add that chicken jus on top, it's so rich. Oh my God, it just elevates it to another level. It is $89 for the chicken, but it's for two people. Yeah, is it a little pricey? Sure. You're at Martha Stewart's restaurant, what do you expect? But I think it's worth it. That chicken is amazing. Abed, what do you think? Yeah, I have to agree with Chris. Uh, like, you know, you're paying for a whole chicken in Las Vegas, it's gonna be pricey. The skin is so crispy, it's been buttered. Uh, like you wouldn't believe, um, but the herbs and all the spices and everything, it's, it's still really juicy. I'm just trying to behave. Like I want to just grab it and like eat, but like, you know, if you're at the Bedford, you got to behave. But um, yeah, we also got Brussels sprouts. We have not dug into that yet, but yeah, this is a random recess recommend because Chris and I were just going to split something and this is perfect. And it's half a chicken, so it's actually a lot of food. All right, as for the Brussels sprouts, they're good. They're your typical side of Brussels sprouts. Nothing too crazy to write home about. But they're cooked nicely, uh, and they have good flavor. It's a nice, nice accompaniment to the chicken. But the chicken was the star of the show, make no mistake. All right, and for dessert, we got the creme brulee. Came out looking gorgeous. The top was perfectly golden brown, evenly torched, and it had a nice crispy shell, almost looked like glass. All right, yo, this creme brulee is absolutely fantastic. The custard is creamy. You really get the vanilla flavor. Sometimes when you order creme brulee, like the custard can almost be kind of bland. There are no shortcuts here. It is silky smooth. You taste the vanilla, you taste the eggs, you taste the cream. And then, yeah, the crunch from the, the brulee sugar is fabulous. We hope you enjoyed that random recess restaurant review of Martha Stewart's restaurant, The Bedford. We can't wait to go back and try some more stuff as the menu does change seasonally. But until next time, we'll see you on the next recess.